Hi, my name is Leroy Ng. I'm from Malaysia. I am a certified trainer and international speaker. I travel to different countries in the world to train leaders on communication and public speaking. I thank you for this uh, opportunity for me to share my story. When I was nine years old, I wanted to learn swimming. And after some learning of basic strokes, I decided to go to the deep side of the pool so that I would have no crowd around me and I can swim uh, alone. One day, as I was making my swim, suddenly, my strength left me. I could not move my arms. I could not kick with my legs. And I was drowning. As I was going down, I remember I was looking up, looking at the sky, stretching out my hand. hoping that somebody would see me. But there was nobody. I've not yet learned how to float in the water to see where, where would I be. I was trying to feel the side of the pool, but there's nothing, just water all around me. So I was sinking. As I continued to raise my hand, I see myself going down. I close my eyes and I thought, that's it. That's it. Nine years old. My life will be ended soon. But suddenly, one hand stretched down and pulled me up. Ah, amazing. But I look up and I saw that it was a girl. She's a girl, about my age, nine. But I have a problem. You see, as a young kid, I have speech impediment and I could not read nor write well. So I could not look at the girl and said, thank you. I should have asked for her name. I should have asked for her phone number so that we could still be friends today. I then realized with this self-awareness, this speech problem is not a good thing to have in life. So what happened? I decided then to do something about speaking. But I didn't know how. Then at age 11, at grade 6, I have a class teacher, a new teacher. And the way she taught us was so interesting. Uh, she was different from all others. She used stories to teach. And it was her storytelling that planted a desire in my heart to read, to learn, to expand my knowledge. For the first time in my life, I opened my school books to learn how to read. 
and I always have a dictionary beside me to help me along. Where do, we, where do I go from here? Les Brown said, live each day as it is your last. At nine years old, I thought that it was my last, my last day of my life. My uh, Angelou said, there's no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside you. This is the first time I'm telling this story. Yet this story has always been in my heart. Every time I face a problem or a challenge in my life, I remember when I was nine years old. There in the pool, I died. But then I live because somebody gave me a second chance. I thank God for saving my life. And I thank this girl for saving my life. What is the purpose of your life? Les Brown always asked, What are you doing? What are you doing here? The purpose of life is to find purpose of your life. If you ask me, what is my ambition? My ambition is to be a world traveler. I like to see the world, to see places, to meet people, eat their food, to experience the culture. I have been living this life, traveling, training. Where do I go from here? I decided today that I want to be a story coach because everybody has a story. You have a story. I like to help people find their story. No greater agony than bearing an untold story inside you. Please remember, there are people out there waiting to hear your story. Your story can help people be better, be stronger, to thrive, to win in their lives. Your story can make a difference in them. Thank you very much. God bless you. Good night.